Hello everyone, Pastor Matt here with another weekly encouragement video. And it's actually going to be my last encouragement video for a couple of weeks as I'm about to take some time off. Uh, so part of what I want to do this week is to leave you with a little bit of a challenge for the next few weeks. Um, and I want you to think about how you might be able to take up this challenge and how you might be able to, um, yeah, I, I guess be an encouragement to other people in, in the absence of, of these videos. Uh, as most of you are probably aware, uh, we've been doing a, a sermon series over the last few weeks through the book of Jude. And we've looked first of all at what Jude um, tells us that we have, what things that God gives us which help us to um, stand firm and contend for the faith, as he puts it. And last week we looked at um, what we're up against, um, you know, some of the challenges that we face as Christians, some of the threats to the, the faith and to the message of the gospel, uh, particularly that uh, people around Jude's time were facing. But, you know, in a lot of ways, they're not really all that different to the challenges that we face today. Last part of Jude's letter uh, basically sums up, I, I guess, what it is that Jude wants the people, the Christians that he's writing to, to do. And so I just want to read for you a couple of verses from the end of, of Jude's letter, which are, are verses 20 and 21, where he says, But you, dear friends, by building yourselves up in your most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you to eternal life. There's a fair bit of talk there about um, doing stuff for yourself, but I think one of the things that we often miss um, when we're looking at some of the texts from the New Testament, um, the Greek language had these plural forms of the word you. And I guess uh, in, you know, in, a, in a modern day equivalent, it'd be like uh, some of those Southern American dialects where they, they tend to use the words like yous or y'all. Um, you know, it includes you, but it includes a, a greater group of people. And, um, and what Jude is encouraging us to do here is to together, as the people of God, addressing y'all, um, to encourage one another and support each other and to keep each other in the faith which God has given us. Uh, look, I know that at the moment um, we're in a little bit of an interesting phase with our return to worship, particularly at Newcastle. And I know that um, a lot of people have done a fantastic job of just um, staying in touch with their friends and neighbours, um, perhaps some people from our Lifeway community that have been a little bit more isolated during uh, the difficult isolation periods of this year. But I want us to think about how we can continue to do that into the future. Just as we start to come back to church, we can get slack with some of that stuff. And I guess our, well, my encouragement for you this week is to not let that drop away as we begin more of us returning to worship. Um, but over the next two or three weeks, while there are, particularly while there are no more encouragement videos, um, here's my challenge for all of us as Lifeway. I want you to have a think about and to pray to God about, um, you know, just a name or, or somebody that you wouldn't necessarily think of to call or to check in on. Um, it might be somebody else from Lifeway, but it might be a, a family member who's kind of on the fringes of, of a church community or maybe even someone who doesn't yet have a faith in Jesus. Um, but have a think about and I, I want to challenge you to actually call them up and have a conversation with them. I know sometimes this can feel a bit in, intimidating, especially if it's someone that we wouldn't necessarily normally spend a lot of time conversing with. But this is one of the ways that we can work together to keep each other in the faith and the love of God, as Jude reminds us to. You know, staying in the love of God is, is so much easier when we're constantly being reminded of God's love for us. And who's going to remind us if we're not opening the Bible for ourselves? Um, who's going to remind us if not um, our friends and family that are part of God's, God's church? 
So I guess, yeah, that's that's the encouragement for this week, everyone, is to, to pray to God. Ask Him to place on your heart the name of somebody who just needs to hear, again, the message of His love and care for them. And um, take seriously the, the role and the job and the task of encouraging one another and supporting one another to keep the faith. Um, and hopefully, as we all do that together, not just during this time of coronavirus, but perhaps it might form a habit that we continue to practice as things slowly return a little bit more to normal. Um, and that through that practice, um, we'll find ourselves building a community of people who are always aware of the love that God has for them. And when we're aware of that, the power of God's love to change our lives and to change the world around us um, will only grow and we will be amazed at the things that God will do. So God bless you this week as you take up the challenge and um, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye.